Hello everybody. It is 2 o'clock East Coast time. Today we're on Central time, so we're still on time for one. We had a great class this morning, and so that's why we're being a little bit later. And I'm going to turn it over to Mike here in just a second um, he's, and see what he's got going on. So let me put him, bring him up. There you go. And it's all you, Mike. All right. I'm just trying to get the glare down here a little bit. All right. Um, I'll talk to you about service, okay, of your machines. When you're taking your machine in to me or anybody else, uh, you need to take things with you. Okay, uh, you can't expect the person to have all the feet, all the hoops, all the different things for all the different machines. Uh, plus, that person has no way of knowing if your things are working. Okay, so if you've got an embroidery machine, take your embroidery hoop, um, take the embroidery unit, take the embroidery foot, uh, a sewing ankle, a sewing foot. Um, if you're um, got a foot pedal with it and your machine doesn't run with a start stop button, uh, you need to take the foot pedal. I mean, because the person may not have the one to run your machine. Um, power cords, nah, it's, it's a so so. I mean, some of them, if you have something unique like an older machine that isn't a newer standard plug, then take it because um, you got to realize, guys, these machines don't all have the same things. And um, for a person to have in stock everything for every machine is very unlikely. Um, it's frustrating whenever the person goes to do the service and doesn't have the things, then they got to write a note saying, hey, uh, you didn't bring a foot. You didn't bring an embroidery unit. You didn't bring a hoop. I don't have one that fits that machine. Um, so th they can do the service, but are they going to be able to do the testing on everything? Is uh, The answer is going to be no. Um, and it takes them time running around looking for things to fit machines. Um and you don't want to pay extra for them to do research to try to find stuff. So just make it so that the person doing the service has the things that they need to do the service. It just um, makes their life a little easier and you get a complete job and um, they're not paying extra for somebody to go researching, run around looking for stuff to uh, service a machine. I mean, because um, you go to the different manufacturers, guys, and, and things don't fit. <laughs> it's just plain and simple. It doesn't fit. Uh, you go trying to find difference in, between Janome's, Bernina's, Foff's, Baby Lock, whether uh, different versions, uh, older ones, newer ones. It's just you don't have everything. And um, the person can't uh, do the job complete because they don't have it. Um, so that's just something that you can do to help them out. Um, and if you're in at all a question, call and say, hey, do you need this stuff? And um, if you call me, I'm going to tell you yes, because it just makes my job easier and I can get more done and get the machines back to you in a faster time frame, not running around looking for parts. Uh, it's just hard whenever you get a number of different machines and um, you open up the machine and you find, oh, it's not there. Oh, now what do I do? Uh, sometimes I can do it. Sometimes I can't. Um, Doing the service, yes, but um, what I like to do is I like to do a test to make sure everything is running right. Um, it's embroidering right, it's sewing right, 
um, and I can tell. So it just makes a more complete job. You are happier whenever you get it home. You know that it's been tested. You know everything's okay. Um, just makes it um, nice to when you pick it up, you can see that things are done. So um, that's a basic service um, being the person being able to do it. Terry, that's about all that I have. Is there any other questions? Um, hold on, let me. Oh, there we are. There we are. Yeah, actually, a couple things. And what made me think of it when, as you were going through and talking, is you know, I know um, on a couple occasions we had somebody bring up a machine in with their foot, and the foot's been worn out because they do wear out or it's bent, or, you know, it's, it's just a good time to be able to check all of those pieces and parts that you normally use. Have the technician take a look. Doesn't cost any extra, but if you're having a problem, because feet do wear out, just like our shoes do. Um, Colleen Bessie has a question. She said, remember, um, you told them there's a size needle that they should not use their needle threader and she wants to know if that's a 7011. I know 7511 is okay, but 7511 anything... Is fine. If you go below a 7511, don't use your needle threader because the eye of the needle is too small and unless it is exact, okay, it's going to bend it and it's not going to work. So. If it's less than a 7511, I suggest you don't use your needle thread. Okay, that was um, that was the only, I think that's the only question. I know we're a little bit later today, but um, thank you very much, Mike. That makes a big difference. And like Sherry was saying, guys, um, your sewing foot, you can wear the finish off. Um, and I've had people saying, hey, it's not pulling fabric. And I'd look at their foot and their foot, the finish is worn off of it. So that's why the fabric wasn't pulling. And if you don't bring that, they can't tell, okay? If you bend your embroidery foot, which, come on, I know some of you have because uh, you've admitted it uh, and then you took a pair of pliers and you tried to put it back in the right place. Uh, hello, um, usually you're not a machine, so you usually don't get them back right. So uh, it's just those things are things that your technician can tell. Your technician can say, guys, if you want this thing to work right, you need to replace this foot. Um, and if there's other ones that you have in question, take them with you and say, hey, is this thing right? Uh, they'll look at it and tell you, no, that one's wrong, that one's okay, this one's uh, eh, questionable. Um, so that's a good time to get those things looked at, reviewed, so that you're happier at home. Oh, good information. Thank you very much. So you want to be excused now? Hi. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> when he's done, he's gone. He's out of here. <laughs> Shut the door. Oh goodness, I don't have much else. Um, we, like I said, we were late, but wanted to make sure that uh, we did get our time with Mike. And we had a great class this morning. I'm telling you, if you have never sewed, sewed, sewn with Cuddle, April does a great job. She is very patient. Um, you know, sometimes in class it's difficult to have because we always have all different levels. We don't tell you if you're experienced not to come. We don't tell you if you don't know what you're doing, don't come. We work at all, you know, we try our best at all the levels to help you and to give you tips and hints and tricks and all kinds of stuff. So we had a really good time this morning with our... Um, Santa class. They made their Santa uh, pillow, cuddle, zipper in the cuddle, work with um, Kimberbell's silver leather on the cuddle. Yes, it was all really, um, 
very informative. I, you know, I get to participate a little bit. I get to listen. Tomorrow is our Edge to Edge Pro, and I know I've had people saying, oh no, I can't be there. We will record it. Um, it's going to be much better if you can because you're going to be working with the Toolshed software, which you need to have downloaded. It's free, but you need to have it downloaded and ready to go. Um, you will have a little bit of time in the beginning to sew your table runner. You don't have to have it sewn, but you do have a list of prep work that was listed out um, on the registration page. So if you've forgotten because you registered way back when, go back and look. Um, look at that information and be ready for class tomorrow. It's going to be all day. Um, it's going to be good. And um, I've got videos from um, Christine, who's developed the whole program that I'm going to be able to use. And you'll be able to watch it afterwards because we'll provide you with, um, with the video. Um, I'm, we may have a few of the snowman kits um, left for next week. If you want to stitch a snowman, hey, what is it, Elsa? Do you want to build a snowman? Well, we're going to be building a snowman and you're going to be cutting in this round on the, um, the Shannon um, fabrics. We're going to have a hat contest. Yep, because you've got the pattern to make the hat. You can actually start on that ahead of time if you want because it's not part of the class. Um, but we're going to have a hat contest and somebody's going to win a five pack bundle similar to this of Shannon Cuddle. That's going to be our prize. So we have a prize for it. We do have a few of the kits that are available. Um, that's all you have to do is buy the kit. I think it's $25. I'm not sure. But that's just the kit. That's the fabric already cut in, um, in pieces. That's your snowman for his eyes, his head, his nose. We've got this cute dimple fabric in there. That's um, Shannon's dimple fabric. We've got it in so you can use that So to add some texture to the snowman. Um, April's very knowledgeable. She talks to you. She's got a, uh, some show and tell that she shares, and she's very knowledgeable about the Shannon um, product. Um, so, you know, grab a kit. We can still get it out in the mail to you. Um, and the class is free. I mean, it's free if you purchase the kit. That's kind of the deal that, you know, I have with Shannon. So we've got, um, we've got that coming. Um, yesterday I did do the PowerPoint with all of the upcoming stuff with pictures so if you're looking and you want to see pictures of the Kimber Bell cuties which I hear those books are on their way to us so we should have them if not in the next couple days by the first of the week we'll get them sent out the subscription is set up for the cuties um, for next year you can go ahead and subscribe it's not going to start till January but by subscribing, I know how many or know what to um, what to prepare for. We have a couple special promotions for the embellishments that you're going to be using. We put together a package, and it's like 20% off of the you know the regular price, and it's stuff that'll be more than what you need. But you'll have it for other stuff projects um, during the year. And I think we put a stabilizer bundle out there too for the stabilizers that we'll be using um, and then of course it's all stuff that you use so we've got that stuff so guys go um, work on your placemats for our sewing for this month work on your other projects have a great afternoon stay warm all my Florida friends stay warm it's cold down here it was 52 this morning I know up in um, Wisconsin they've got um, they had snow and it's freeze warnings or frost but, you know, 52 degrees in Florida, that's cold. I had long pants on this morning. I got jeans on today. So make it a great afternoon. Go sew something. And I will see you guys tomorrow at 1 and hope to see some of you in class um, tomorrow and next week. So go and sew.